Hello and welcome back. Let's convert the arbitrary beam problem that we solved into a textbook problem. Now we have a very specific geometry, a very specific boundary condition, and the results that we, we need to have in the end. So let's start converting our model into it. And here we have thickness is 0.5, width is 6 inch, and Young's modulus is 1.6 high power 6 psi or high power 3 ksi. Now we, let's start with it in abacus first and let's change the geometry first. And now we have no nothing to reference to. So let's create a point which is at 0, 0 and, and this point needs to be fixed done now we need to reference our beam to it and it's supposed to be 48 inch that is 4 feet 48 inch and the other point is reference to the center as well 48 inch and yeah the feature has to be updated regenerate on ok and it has a partition at edge like we created uh, previously now the material it has to be 1.3 higher power 6 no it was 1.3 6 high power 6 and we can confirm it 1.6 high power 3 ksi or 6 psi 1.6 high power 6 okay and let's see the profile but before the profile let's see the orientation let's let's give it an orientation so we have this Now, 2 is our y direction, 2 is our thickness. And so in our section, our profile, 2 is our thickness, 2 is b. So let's give it 0.5, and a or 1 is our width. Let's give it a 6 inch. Now, I have to be very careful about the units here, or I might end up having a very bad results. So we just create a mesh with one and hit enter and create the boundary conditions that we created here that is all fixed and boundary condition with u3 I switch it to u2 now it is supposed to be minus three inch and now we are all set up so let's submit it and then see what the results are. And the results sh and the results show a stress of three thousand psi. Now this is nowhere near what we want. This is twice as much. And what would be the real one? So the stress is 1562 whereas I'm I'm getting twice as much. Let's let's try the same problem in ANSYS. So in ANSYS we again start with creating a new material A1 and the elasticity that is 1.6 high power 6 and 0.3 and then we go to the geometry so instead of arbitrary geometry now we're going to give it some section and the length as we have uh, in the problem so so we start with the sketch and we give it dimensions we didn't select the sketch or did we 
um, dimensions. Now we can select this point and now we cannot select it. Maybe this is because we have this body showing up all around it. And now we need to, now we can see the difference. So again, we have the same problem here. And uh, yeah. So I would have to create a construction point over here at origin and and now I would give the dimensions here about the origin to be now this should be an inch like it's it's 48 inch and the other side automatically because we put it in 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 the in the mid span already so we are good to go and we hit the generate and everything else is done but we still have we, just, we still don't don't know what should be the b and the h now what should be the b so along the y is thickness so so it should be like 0.5 and along the x axis it, it's 6 we can see it here and hit generate and now we're going ready to go to mesh yeah read upstream data and we are good to go so we have a beam over here but we still don't have the assignment so let's give it the assignment and create the mesh and now we can verify that it six in 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 z direction and or width and height are different or they are according to our uh, requirement so we have these two points fixed like we already did and then we have the displacement in y direction that that now this is minus three inch So let's hit solve and run it. So the stresses, let's check how much they have. The def deformation we already know. The total bending moment is something. And maximum combined stress, this is 3124. This is similar to what we have in Abacus, but not what we need. Let, let's see what we did wrong here. So the boundary conditions are one is one boundary condition is displacement and the other one is pin supported. So whereas in our model we fixed both of the points, we give we gave them a fixed constraint, which means all six degrees of freedom they are going to be fixed. Let's try and fix this problem in Abacus first and then we will try the same thing in An ANSYS. So the boundary condition, they have they have to be pin support. So the pin means that it's only going to support in Y direction and we can see it through So if, if we have these two pins, that would mean it would not just let it fall and it can still go along this direction or the other direction or it can still bend and it can still do whatever it wants. So we have three displacements and three rotations. With the fixed constraints, we fixed all of it, whereas only one of these should be fixed. So we just corrected this problem and in this one we only have the two. Yeah. So we have zero and then we have minus three. So let's try with this and see if it makes any difference. Now let's see the results and 
So one Moises are fifteen hundred and forty six, whereas we have fifteen hundred and sixty two. They are in some agreement. And let's try and refine the mesh and see if if it makes any difference. So yeah, it should be in part and zero point zero one. Let's make it very fine mesh and then try with it. So we can go and hit submit. Let's check the results now and yeah, it's fifteen hundred and sixty-two psi, whereas what we have is fifteen hundred and sixty-two point five. Yeah, two point two oh eight or something. So and what about the P? P is sixteen point two eight. Do we get a P here? 16.275 or 28. Yeah, they both are in complete agreement. Now let's try and do the same thing in ANSYS. So what we did is that we only fixed these two points. These two points we fixed in, we only fixed the Y direction. So it's it's y fixed zero and mm, it can still rotate everywhere and it can still move in x component and the displacement is minus three in y direction. So let's try and solve it. It gives me this error. Solver pivot warning. Mm, let's read it. Solver pivot warnings or error have been encountered during the solution. We 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 know that it's not completely fixed in in, in space, and uh, it's not going to run until we we fix all of these. For example, we, if we fix x direction and then we fix y and z. So let's solve it now and then see. So again, we have the same problem. Yeah, and it says that a solver pivot warning or it has been detected in the rotation x degree of freedom of node 20. So now it, it needs to be fixed along the x direction as well. That's the rotation x. Okay, and now try and solve that. Still gives me the same problem. And I still need to fix it in y direction rotation. Rotation in y direction. And let's try and solve it again. And we again have a problem saying that it should be fixed in z direction as well. Rotation z. And it's all fixed now. Let's try and solve it. And it runs now. So obviously we know that the results are not going to be in agreement with the model. And this problem can be solved very easily in APDL, but in Workbench, uh, this, it is strange that it somehow does not work. And uh, we, we also can check the force reaction at displacement. And it would definitely not be in agreement on force minus that is 65 that is wrong and now to to check why we we don't get the accurate results or good results let's see what we have as element or what element was used to solve this this problem uh, yeah, a beam 188. Let's try and check it. What is 188 beam? So, a beam 188 is a 3D beam. It's a linear, quadratic, or cubic two node beam element in 3D. So, it has 6 or 7 degrees of freedom at each node. 
and these include translations in x y z directions and rotations about the x one x y and z direction and a warping that is optional and in abacus it says the beam theory is one dimensional approximation of a three dimensional continuum and the reduction is in dimensionality is a direct result of slenderness assumption that is the dimensions of the cross section are small compared to typical dimensions along the axis of the beam so the interesting thing is the axial dimension must be interpreted as a global dimension and not the element length such as the distance between supports so in abacus a beam element is a one dimensional line element in three dimensional space so this is the reason why we can run it with one degree of freedom in abacus whereas in Antis it it is a three-dimensional problem which has to be fixed in all six degrees of freedom i hope you don't make this rookie mistakes in your fea problems happy learning and have a very great day